Last morning in town as a CDT through hiker. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Thank you. I'm gonna miss this food. Tamales and eggs. Chorizo and eggs. French toast. We are doing it big for our last breakfast in town. It's through hikers. I can't eat like this anymore after in 80 in 83 miles I can't be eating like this anymore. But I'm sure gonna enjoy it while I can. Good morning everybody. I'm about to leave the last town on the CDT. I'm in Lordsburg right now. We stayed at the Econo Lodge last night. Got some breakfast at Cranberries or Ramona's, whatever it's called now. And we have 84 miles to the end of the trail. It's kind of windy today, a little chilly, but it's gonna be nice temperatures for the next few days. And we've scheduled last night the shuttle home. We will get shuttled back here, take the train from Lordsburg to Tucson. I'll be flying out of Tucson. My flight was way too expensive, but whatever. I'm just at that point ready to be home. So I was willing to pay just about anything. This is really unreal. I don't know why I can't wrap my head around the fact that I walked here from Canada. <laughs> just really mind boggling and crazy. I do feel it though. I'm tired. My body's tired. I'm ready for a break. I'm ready to be done. But yeah, we're going to try to get about 20 miles or so accomplished today. And yeah, the countdown is officially on. Here's what my pack looks like for this last stretch. Got about three days worth of food and three liter water capacity. Ready to go. <laughs> they keep appearing. There's this big one of Vitalian dogs. <laughs> Off the road, onto the trail. We're pretty much following these markers. That's kind of cute. All of a sudden, no, I don't. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I actually don't need it. But that's pretty gnarly. My feet hurt. I got these shoes in Gagosa Springs. So they have six, close to seven miles on them. You can see. That's my sock in there. But yeah, there ain't no padding left. Just cracked. <sighs> Two more days. All right, we just took a little snack slash bathroom break, and we're gonna try to go about 8.6 more. We've done about 15 so far today. 
there's water up here in two miles and then there's water in 8.6 the trail is a little hard to follow we're just following like those guys and the trails like cross country weaving in between like these sage like these bushes and stuff so it's kind of hard to follow at times and so I don't know how that would translate for night hiking it may just be a royal disaster but we are going to try to get to that water source I think it's going to be like 24 miles or so today maybe 23 um, but that will definitely meet the benchmark for today out of town and it looks like there's another full moon right there so it would be a really pretty night to night hike but yeah following these signs may get a little hairy but I don't know we'll see although this section is really desolate you can just feel the excitement walking through here for Sobos because we're about to finish, but also because this is where the Novos start and they have like the pre-trail excitement. So it's really a cool area. I've really enjoyed this section so far. good water. Alright, we made camp for the night. And I made this bean dip. I'm eating it with some tortilla chips. And it is so good. We got a nice little view of town. Good morning, YouTube. I don't like that. Good morning, world. From the desert. We camped right around here. And it was really cool because we're just in this big, wide open area. And you look out the tent and it's just like nothing. Or over here, there was like city lights. Hachita is right over here. But the moon was so bright last night, it was like the lights were on. And then had the prettiest sunrise this morning. And it's quite warm and wonderful. And we just have a flat little stroll through the desert. We are 62 miles from the border. And I don't know how many miles we'll do today. We have our pickup scheduled for the 17th, and today's the 15th, so we have all the time in the world, and so I got to do what I like to do, and that was sleeping this morning, watch the sunrise, and it's really nice. It's like soaking up the last of this. This is kind of what I expected New Mexico to be like the whole time, and it wasn't at all. But this is really cool. It's absolutely gorgeous. I don't know. Something about camping in the desert that's really awesome. So, yeah, we're going to get today started. That was like second to last sleep on trail as a through hiker. Here is a water source. But I still have water, and he still has water from the last source. So, we're going to go. 3.7 more to a water cache box 
awesome. That earth is just good. Yeah, Tag said there's eight to nine gallons. Where is he? Hi. Where are you, little buddy? You're awful cute. Where are you? Hi. I don't know what he is. What is he? A skunk? I'm not sure. Very big though. So that little guy was a badger. And I got kind of close to him and he started hissing at me. So I gave him his space, but I got a good picture and video of him. He was really fat. I had no idea that badgers lived out here in the desert because the last one that we saw was out in the winds, which is completely different landscape. But yeah, that was pretty cool. We just ran into a section hiker who's doing the border up to Silver City. Um, oh! <laughs> Uh, I don't even know. I don't know where that story was going. But yeah, that's the only person we've seen in a long time. Most of our friends finished um, a couple days ago. I know there's a few people behind us. next water cache. I don't know if you guys can hear me. It is so windy today. Um, we're going to try to do six to eight more miles, but I don't know. This wind is really annoying. It is a 100% full moon tonight. We're gonna do about five or six more miles and that's gonna give us 35 miles to the board. We may do all 35 tomorrow. Leave like five or six for the morning that it would get picked up. Um, so yeah, today will be about a 30 mile day. Gonna settle in it's crazy like you it's so bright out here you kind of don't need a headlamp i'm gonna have one anyway just to be extra safe but it's it's so beautiful there's nothing better than night hiking with a full moon and it's all like open like this and how we find the trail at night are these signs and they are reflective so you can kind of see them off in the distance and then you can also just kind of tell 
where the trail's been beaten down from everybody's footsteps. Uh, it just becomes six cents where the trail is after you hike almost 3,000 miles across the country. Look at this oasis. It's like a whole pond here. You don't see this every day out here. But look how bright. Thank you for letting us use your water. Here's the spigot. 